Look up at the night sky, away from city lights, and you'll see a milky band stretching across the heavens. This ethereal glow is a reminder of the vastness of our universe and our place within it. That's the Milky Way, our home galaxy, a vast island of stars, gas, dust, and planets. It's a cosmic neighborhood that we share with billions of other stars, each potentially hosting its own system of planets. It's a spiral galaxy, resembling a giant cosmic pinwheel, and we're located about two-thirds of the way out from the center, on a smaller spiral arm called the Orion Arm. This arm is just one of many that spiral out from the dense star-packed core of our galaxy. This celestial structure is in constant motion, with stars, gas, and dust swirling around the galactic center. The core itself is a bustling hub of activity, with a supermassive black hole anchoring the galaxy's gravitational forces. Imagine a cosmic waltz, with everything moving in a delicate balance of gravity and momentum. That's the Milky Way in action. Each star, including our Sun, follows a unique path, influenced by the gravitational pull of the galaxy. Our Sun, along with Earth and the other planets, is caught in this cosmic dance, orbiting the galactic center at an astonishing speed of about 515,000 miles per hour. This journey is not a straight line, but a complex, spiraling path. Even at this speed, it takes approximately 230 million years for the Sun to complete one orbit around the Milky Way. This period is known as a cosmic year or galactic year. That means the last time our solar system was in its current position, dinosaurs were just beginning to roam the Earth. This perspective highlights the immense time scales over which cosmic events unfold. The sheer scale of our galaxy is truly awe-inspiring. With a diameter of about 100,000 light years, the Milky Way is a colossal structure, home to an estimated 100 to 400 billion stars. Each of these stars could have its own planets, making the potential for life elsewhere in our galaxy a tantalizing possibility. The Milky Way is home to a staggering number of stars, between 100 and 400 billion, each a radiant ball of plasma like our own sun. These stars are scattered across the galaxy forming a breathtaking tapestry of light that stretches across the night sky. These stars come in a variety of sizes, colors, and temperatures. From the cool red dwarfs to the scorching blue giants, each star has its own unique characteristics and life cycle. Some are massive and incredibly bright, shining with an intensity that can be seen across vast distances, while others are small and faint, barely visible to the naked eye. Our Sun, a yellow dwarf star, is considered to be of average size and brightness, yet it is the center of our solar system and the source of all life on Earth. Scattered among these stars are vast clouds of gas and dust known as nebulae. These nebulae are not just beautiful to look at, they play a crucial role in the life cycle of stars. These nebulae are the birthplaces of stars where gravity pulls together gas and dust, causing them to collapse and ignite. Over time, these clouds give birth to new stars, continuing the cycle of stellar creation. They're also the final resting places of stars where the remnants of stellar explosions enrich the galaxy with heavier elements. These supernova remnants spread essential elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron throughout the galaxy. It's a beautiful cosmic cycle of life and death playing out over billions of years. This ongoing process of starbirth and death shapes the evolution of galaxies and the universe itself, reminding us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the cosmos. The Milky Way is a barred spiral galaxy, characterized by its central bar-shaped structure and its multiple spiral arms that extend outward from the bar's ends. This spiral structure is thought to be created by density waves that travel throughout the galaxy. Think of these waves like ripples in a pond, compressing the gas and dust they pass through, leading to the formation of new stars in their wake. The Milky Way's spiral arms are not static structures, but rather dynamic and evolving features. They're constantly rotating, albeit at different rates than the stars and gas within them. At the very center of the Milky Way lies a mysterious and powerful object known as Sagittarius A asterisk, pronounced Sagittarius A star. It's a supermassive black hole, a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. This black hole has a mass estimated to be about 4 million times that of our Sun, all concentrated into a region smaller than our solar system. The presence of Sagittarius A asterisk has a profound influence on its surroundings. It warps the fabric of space-time, causing stars to orbit around it at incredible speeds. 
Section 5, The Cannibal Galaxy, Our Milky Way's Appetite. The Milky Way, like many galaxies, has grown over billions of years by consuming smaller galaxies that come too close to its gravitational grasp. This process, known as galactic cannibalism, is a testament to the powerful forces at play in the universe. When a smaller galaxy ventures too close to the Milky Way, the gravitational interaction between the two can disrupt the smaller galaxy's structure, stretching it out into long streams of stars and gas. These streams are then slowly pulled apart and absorbed into the Milky Way's halo, the diffuse region surrounding the galactic disk. Section 6 Galactic Neighbors, Andromeda and Beyond The Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies that populate the observable universe. Our nearest large galactic neighbor is the Andromeda Galaxy, another spiral galaxy located about 2.5 million light-years away. Andromeda is even larger than the Milky Way, with an estimated trillion stars. Together, the Milky Way and Andromeda dominate the local group, a collection of over 50 galaxies that are gravitationally bound to each other. The local group itself is part of a much larger structure known as the Virgo Supercluster, which contains hundreds of galaxy groups and clusters. Section 7. Cosmic Cannibalism, The Milky Way's Future In about 4 billion years the Milky Way is destined for a head-on collision with the Andromeda Galaxy. This cosmic clash will be a spectacular event, lasting for millions of years as the two galaxies tear each other apart and eventually merge into a single, larger galaxy. During the collision, stars will be flung out of their orbits. New stars will be born in vast bursts of star formation and the supermassive black holes at the centers of both galaxies will spiral towards each other, eventually merging into an even more massive black hole. While this event may seem catastrophic, it's important to remember that galaxies are mostly empty space. Section 8. Dark Matter's Grip, The Unseen Force Astronomers have observed that galaxies, including the Milky Way, rotate much faster than they should based on the visible matter they contain. This unexpected speed has puzzled scientists for decades, leading them to search for answers beyond what we can see. This discrepancy suggests that there must be some invisible form of matter providing the extra gravity to hold these rapidly rotating galaxies together. Without this unseen force galaxies would simply fly apart unable to maintain their structure. This mysterious substance is known as dark matter, and it's thought to make up about 85% of the total mass of the universe. Despite its elusive nature, dark matter plays a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. Although we can't see dark matter directly, its gravitational influence is evident throughout the cosmos. It acts as an invisible hand, shaping the large-scale structure of the universe and guiding the motion of galaxies and galaxy clusters. In the Milky Way, Dark matter is thought to form a vast halo that extends far beyond the visible disk of stars and gas. This halo is not just a passive presence, it actively influences the dynamics of our galaxy. This halo acts like an invisible scaffold, providing the gravitational glue that holds our galaxy together. Without dark matter the Milky Way and other galaxies would not have the mass needed to stay intact, highlighting the profound impact of this unseen force on the universe. Section 9. The Milky Way's Habitable Zone Not all regions of a galaxy are equally hospitable to life as we know it. The Milky Way, like other galaxies, has a habitable zone, also known as the Galactic Habitable Zone, a region where conditions are thought to be most favorable for the emergence and evolution of life. This zone is characterized by its distance from the galactic center, its metallicity, the abundance of elements heavier than helium, and its relative peacefulness avoiding frequent supernova explosions and other cosmic events that could be detrimental to life. The Milky Way's habitable zone is thought to be a ring-shaped region located within the galactic disk, at a distance of about 25,000 light-years from the galactic center. Section 10. Searching for Life in the Cosmic Haystack the Milky Way is just one of billions of galaxies in the observable universe and our Sun is just one of billions of stars in the Milky Way. Given this vastness, it's natural to wonder if other forms of life exist elsewhere in the cosmos. The search for extraterrestrial life, or SETI, is a scientific endeavor that seeks to answer this fundamental question. Scientists involved in SETI use a variety of techniques including radio telescopes to search for signals that might be indicative of intelligent life elsewhere in the galaxy. 
While no definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life has been found yet, the search continues, driven by the profound implications such a discovery would have. Section 11, A Universe of Galaxies. The Milky Way with its billions of stars, its supermassive black hole and its potential for harboring life is a truly awe-inspiring place. But it's just one of countless galaxies that populate the observable universe. Each of these galaxies is a vast island of stars, gas and dust, each with its own unique history and evolution. Some galaxies are spirals like our own, while others are elliptical, irregular or even colliding with each other. The study of galaxies provides us with a glimpse into the vastness and diversity of the cosmos and helps us understand our place in the grand scheme of things.